installing these anytime soon. Also, I got two new packages here. Take a guess at what they are. The package is acquired. Let's go ahead and put it on. I did disconnect the uh, negative terminal yesterday, so we're going to connect it. This is the part we're going to change right here, the alternator. So let's go ahead and just get into it. They want the best to me now. They want the best. Welcome back to another video. My name is Chris. This is my channel called Mumble. Today we're basically going to fix the alternator on the G20. It's been shutting off and it lost power the other day. It kind of drained my whole battery. We're going to go ahead and change it. Took the car to our rivalries. They verified that it was a bad alternator. A new alternator is going for about $160-170 plus a $30 core charge. So I had to pay about $200 something out of pocket but I'm going to get $30 back. It's not that bad, but it's also not that cheap. We're going to go ahead and change it out today. Actually, my friend's going to change it out for us. I find it very helpful when you can help friends out by giving them business. So that's what I'm doing today. It's not that hard to change out. A lot of you guys may want to go ahead and do this one day. So we're going to give you a couple tips and pointers. New alternator. Got my backpack ready. My schoolboy backpack in case I decide to study. Come on. When you're working with cars, who wants to study? This traffic is crazy. Boy. Chick-fil-A needs to sponsor these videos, right? The package has been acquired. Let's go ahead and eat. Four to six days later. So what's up, guys? It's been a couple of days, maybe since last Thursday. This is actually dropping today on 4th of July. I want to wish everybody a happy 4th of July. So what happened is uh, we ran into an issue while we are doing this whole alternator install. An alternator bolt was installed incorrectly from the previous owner or maybe even from the factory. I started Googling stuff around and some people say that that's how they came from the factory. Well, here it is, here's what happened. We actually dropped the engine a little bit and there still wasn't enough clearance for us to just slide that bolt out. I got on the forums, I got on Facebook G20 page and a lot of people started to tell me to just cut it. Some people told me to take off a lot more things so I can go ahead and get to it. But taking off a lot more things, it's a little bit more tedious as to just cutting that bolt. So we left that car my friends. I've been driving the G37 all this week to work. Not too bad as I hope because I know I'll complain about traffic and stuff. I actually took some back roads on the way back home on the way to work. Overall the install was very easy. You could easily do it in about maybe a 30-40 minute time frame if the bolt was installed correctly. Now there are about four or five videos on YouTube already on how to take out the alternator. Everything that needs to be removed. So maybe that's one reason why I didn't decide to film all that stuff. I don't want to have the same content as another channel. There are some people saying that you gotta remove the AC compressor. You really don't. It can come out from the top. You don't even have to remove the AC line, which is what's recommended. So go ahead and take this into consideration if you're thinking about doing the alternator on your car. It's gonna be a little bit tedious and a little bit of a headache if your bolt ends up being the way mine was. My friend just texted me that the car's about to be done, but I still can't drive the car. My inspection's out, so I gotta get that done this week. He's actually gonna do the whole inspection process for me. I just gotta drive to the DMV and get a new sticker. The car should be back with us maybe a couple more days. Friday, Saturday, maybe Friday, I'll be back here. The parts that I got in those two boxes, you guys will know soon enough, it's nothing that fits the car right out of the box. I'm gonna have to modify it. I am gonna have to buy a Dremel just to make it fit. And that's about it for right now. The wheels and tires, I still need two more tires. I haven't been able to look for any at the moment. The summer class I'm taking right now is about to end. Also this week, Sunday and Monday, I'm normally off. So Sunday, I'll be at Stance Nation in uh, Houston. Gonna go ahead and check out that event out. It's always nice to go out of town and check out different cars from a different city. I'm gonna document some of it. I am gonna need to buy a gimbal though. I'm probably gonna buy this one tomorrow or Friday and start playing with it so I'm ready when I go to Houston. So the last thing I'm gonna hit on guys, I just need two shocks for the front of the G20. I'm gonna probably order those this week as well. There are some big things coming for this channel and some big news that's not really gonna change the way this channel is gonna go. So just bear with me on that. Like I said before, I hope everybody has a good 4th of July. Enjoy your day with your families. Be careful out there because during the holiday season, there's a lot more accidents out here. I wouldn't consider this video a fail, more as a uh, learning process of, you know, stuff can happen when you least expect it. Also, there is somebody I'm supposed to link up with, which is the Unrealist. The guy I talked to you guys about a couple videos back. I'm gonna meet up with him sometime this week or maybe next week, depending on how it goes. We're supposed to do a collaboration video, so stay tuned for that one. I think the way we're gonna do it is, he's gonna do one on his channel, and I'm gonna do one on my channel. Go ahead and subscribe to him if you haven't done so. He does have a G37, he's gonna bring a lot more content. 
they went with that car as well. With that being said, guys, I hope you do guys subscribe, comment down below, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. I'm a blow up. Yeah.